I just have to kick this off. I don't really know what frame to start it with. But I will start it with these words. This is really um, the second to last of my display uh, top shelf quartz. This is the serrated pieces. Not all of them. I have a bin that is actually uh, about an inch and a half wide and it's one of the longer ones. It's about five, six inches long. So it fits a lot, a lot of points. I haven't seen some of these in a while. I also will make this comment as we take a look at some of these. This is really for you, Durgan. Definitely. I really appreciate the support, your love for quartz. Uh, if you love serrated quartz, this is a this is going to be a great little trip to uh, the Indian Trace Museum for you. And those of you out there that uh, love quartz, serrated on top of that, I mean, come on, it's 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 amazing. It's pretty rare in comparison. Uh, but I want you to check out this stuff, and uh, we'll go through it. But again, Durgan, I really appreciate all the great uh, views comments. Ryan, uh, you started this quartz business and I have maybe one more bin and it's it's an incredible uh, display bin left one, but it's like the most incredibly like melted, worked quartz. And this stuff is good because it's now known that quartz is super hard to work with to nap. So let's check this stuff out. I want to give you one good uh, shot. Now if you have a phone or Whatever, you do a screenshot. Use it for a, a desktop on the computer. I do that all the time. Something fun. Change things up as you're relaxing. Probably we have more homebodies this week than ever. Now of this group, as we take a closer look at these, I gotta get going, I got an appointment. This point is about the newest from Opening Sands. And uh, it's like a honey quartz because quartz is all completely translucent I will not lift it all up it's hard to do I'm trying to get perfect natural light as well as sun I don't use any artificial light for my videos it works out better that way, but that's just an incredible piece from Opening Sands. It is tangerine. It is like honey. Mercy. Serrated quartz has its varieties. There is some vein quartz in it. Take a look at some of these stuff. Here's a point from Sand Passage. Unique. Definitely narrow on the bases. Because of the nature of quartz, it catches light intense. Even with natural light, it's hard to film it sometimes. But we'll go around. We'll do our best for everybody. We'll let the rock speak for itself. Starting at 7 o'clock here. And actually, I've got a full clock. That'd be a good clock, wouldn't it? All 12 positions. First hand, second hand, and everything. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good clock. Now, check this out. It's a piece from the easement. For me, maybe a five-year-old piece. Another five-year-old piece right next to it. From the south side. Some of these sites, I, I do, you know, you just can't get to them all the time. Uh, very unique. say full point right here I don't want to pick them all up I just don't have the time today but I'll give you a good look at them nothing better than this peace and quiet take your mind off of some of the other things going on just take a time out man it's not doing justice the light I mean look at these pieces this is from uh B and B field, site five.
little bit of a bifurcated point from Quiet Sands, I call it, Site 4. I have learned you can only get so close, at least I can with my, with my uh, phone, trying to make the best of it with the phone. B&B Field. See, these two are from B&B Field right here. So those guys, they and Gales, were napping quartz and serrating it. Because that's from B&B Field too right here. And so is these two. And this, this is almost six years old. Here's a point from Saponi. And look at the varieties of quartz here. All right, even with this one found maybe 50 yards off my back porch. Not this, this is W Properties, Milky Quartz. Just incredible variety. This point's actually like a favorite. It's so simple. It's found at the clay pot. It's the dirty quartz. I've got a lot of dirty quartz. I call it dirty quartz. I don't know the better way, a better thing to call it. I mean, look at these two. It has mineral veins in it. And here's a point from the easement. Plateau point right here. A blade, maybe, because of the way it's sharpened. Here's a point, and guess where it's from? B&B &B Field. It's big. How big? Uncommonly large. But this long, serrated piece, and it's rounded off on the back, is the same as this larger piece here. Same site. It's just crazy, right? Why not? save it right why not find a place for it at least to keep it safe for the time being once we're out of here i mean we can't we can't really do anything with it i mean it's just rocks believe me loved ones have done terrible things with the collections of their uh, of loved ones unfortunately but we can only make our best effort durgan brian dedicated to you here don't know how i can show it any better I guess you could watch it again. I don't need to go over it again right here. Put it in sets. That's my dog down there making funny noises. I'm gonna make a fantastic frame someday. If I go that direction. One of, the, one of the hard things I have is that a frame would make it even more difficult for relatives uh, to pass around or to do something with, but that's just my environment. I've had a crazy environment. <laughs> but thank you all for tuning in to Indian Trace. That gives you a really clear look at it. i got to move now. i got to motivate. i got to go change. But I uh, hope you find out there. Trying to get the best contrast. Playing around a little bit, but uh, be well. Hope you find.